Fighting is a game with many, many characters, each with their own personalities, playstyles, and backstories. However, if we look past the sea of elemental sword dudes, or the idols, or the fighters themselves, we find who I think is the single most obscure character in fighting, as well as the one with the most tragic past. Who, may you ask? Well, to answer that question, buckle up, and perhaps even like and subscribe, because today we dive into the dimension-ridden tale of Microphone. So by now you are definitely wondering who the heck I'm talking about. Microphone, Mike, or Hatsunu Maiku, is an obscure character who is indeed in fighting. And yes, like every other character, she's based off of an old Roblox gear, specifically the old microphone gear. Now, where is she in the game? I mean, obviously there's no model for her, and she's not one of the idols, she's not one of the sword dudes, she's not one of the fighters, so who is she? Well, if you go into the fighting lobby, you can find flyers of her strung all around Crossroad, and from first glance, she appears to be an idol just like Dom and Vel. That's all one can gather from the game itself, but that's not where our story ends. Mike's lore is not something told in game, but rather told through YouTube videos, text conversation, and other things all made by the character's creator, Signal. Now before we dive into this, please note that this isn't necessarily 100% canon to the lore of fighting, but I am choosing to talk about it regardless due to how it pertains to the game and its characters. You can take the information however you wish to. So what do these videos and messages reveal? Well, they detail her relationship with Boombox and her struggles with amnesia. I will be linking these videos in the description now because you should really check them out for yourself. But anyways, here's a general idea of what's revealed. So to summarize the screenshot, basically, uh, Microphone was like the fighters initially entering the tournaments. She met Boombox, however, during one of the fights she gets hurt, gets amnesia, so she quits that, becomes an idol, and then slowly begins to lose her memories while Boombox tries to take care of her. And eventually she forgets about Boombox altogether, and moves on to do other things that are just outside of the realm of fighting as a game. We can assume from we can assume the video signal uploaded recently takes place before her rise to fame considering, well, she still knows Boombox. Mike is also clearly depressed considering she is constantly re-meeting Boombox over and over, which has certainly taken a toll. We do know eventually she forgets him altogether, so um, it's unknown if she still has that sort of lingering depression or guilt or anything, but um, we'll just have to see. It's certainly a tragic past, but it's also a good one that serves to better flesh out the interesting world of fighting. And with that, I think I'm going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed. And one big thanks to Signal for basically pointing me in the right direction for this. It was fun to figure out. But anyways, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.